everybody, it's Jamie Scrap and Stampers, and today I'm playing with this cute stamp called Chillin' Out from CC Designs from Doodle Dragon Studios. Really, really cute stamp. I do have one left in the shop if you're interested in the, sh in the stamp. The link will be down below. And what I did was I created a cute little background for the scene, and I'm going to share with you how I got this look. And this is the before basically and then this is the after i just think it gives the the image a real like pop so i really like doing the backgrounds um, on my images so what you need to do is cut a mask and you're just going to stamp it out and cut around to create a mask like this and then just lay it on top of your image You could put removable adhesive on the back to help keep it in place. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit here. Okay. And I'm going to be using some Distress inks and the Stampin' Up! spot in Rich Razzleberry. And you don't have to use Distress inks. I mean, I have um, done this with regular inks as well. So I'm just going to do a combination here. And I'm using Tumbled Glass and Peacock Feathers. And I'm using one of these um, sponge dabbers. And I'm just doing an even coat, um, laying my sponge dabber flat down. That'll help prevent from getting marks on your harsh lines, I should say, on your image. And then I wanna go in with the purple. I think when you add the purple, it gives it a, a night sky look. And then I want to go over that with the blue. And then I'm going to use the peacock feathers to go over the whole thing. My um, tumbled glass is kind of drying out, so. And now I'm going to put some snow splatters on there. So I'm just using white acrylic paint. I'm using this Americana in cool white. And then I'm just going to take a wet um, paintbrush to kind of dilute it, but not too much. And 
and I'm just going to um, mix that into the paint that I have here. And you're going to want to do this in an area that you don't mind getting paint splatters all over. Um, you might want to create a wall <laughs> around your work area because this will splatter everywhere and you don't want to ruin your nice things. So um, I usually create a little wall and I just take the, the paintbrush and I just do tap it on there and it'll just put little splatters of paint. Okay, and then just let that dry and then peel off your mask. I'm going to do it now. Try not to mess anything up. And then you have a really cool background. And if you're you didn't lay your mask on correctly, as I did here on the little um, cup. You could see a little bit of white water. Um, it looks nice like that, but if you did want to fill that in, just take one of your Copic markers that are similar in color and just draw in around the little um, the image to fill that in. So here are the two cute little images. Um, I added some white jelly dots to the cup on this one. And you can find the, the pens in the section under paper and embellishments. You'll see a white jelly uh, glaze pen and the black glaze pen. I also have the clear glaze pen as well, which I colored the little noses with. And then um, you can find the stamp under holiday section. And the holiday section is on sale this week until Thursday an extra 15% off you'll see in your shopping cart. So you can use my coupon code Jamie for an additional 10% off as well. So I hope you guys like this um, video and leave me a thumbs up if you do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.